Welcome back to another episode. All right, today we have a special one. For Father's Day, I got an awesome present. I got a Hummingbird Helix 9 Fish Finder. Third generation, which is the latest one that actually came out. For a couple of weeks now, I've been scoping this out. So I went over to Bass Pro, went to go talk with them. I'm actually not very impressed with customer service there, but he just like brushed me right off. Didn't even want to answer him any of my questions. Like literally whatever question I asked, it was like one word answer. You know, I went there twice, happened two times. I pretty much felt like he didn't even want to talk to me. So I was like, forget it. And this is a huge shout out for Radio World. Check them out. They are awesome. I'll leave a link to their website in the description down below. Uh, okay, listen, this is how awesome their customer service is. I went there four times. They did not turn me away, answered all my questions, and even gave me ideas, which I'm telling you right now, amazing customer service. Even these days now, it's really hard to find a place that has half decent customer service. And that's for another video, I'm not gonna go on that rant. With that said, I actually went there Took measurements with uh, with John. Yeah, John, I'm, I'm calling you out, man. You helped me out a lot. So took measurements and I actually made myself a template, uh, an actual template out of cardboard of the Helix 9, which is a pretty big unit. And I didn't know that if it was gonna fit in my boat. So made this template, thanks to John, and uh, found out that, yeah, this particular unit was gonna be able to fit on my console in my boat. So went ahead, buy my Hummingbird Helix 9 from Radio World. Let's go unbox it, because I am super stoked. All right, let's go check it out. <laughs> All right, this is it right here. Okay, so we got the Fish Finder, Hummingbird Helix 9, with the E-lock to make sure that no one takes the head unit, and then the map charts. So as you can see, I have all of Canada, Marine, and Lake charts. So there you go. There's also the app, which I already have. All right, let's take this bad boy out of the box and see what comes inside. So let's open this up. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> all right, let's open this up. A little difficult to do with one hand. Uh oh, okay. I'm gonna have to flip this around. All right, so as you can see, there are two levels here, one and two. Everything is pulled out of the box. Right away, you can see all the hardware. And then we have some hardware over here. All right, let's take this box out of here and let's see what's in the first level. First level, as you can see, comes with some reading material. Yes, I know that some of us don't like it, but it is there. So let's put that away, take a look what's inside. So first piece of reading material that we get is important information about your Hummingbird product. Uh, yeah, everyone, I will read this. That is definitely, oh, registering and updating. This is definitely important. Next, uh, returning your transducer to the factory, returning, uh, exchanging your transducer. So here's some more information on what to do. Uh, then the next one is Installation guide for the head unit, as you can see right here. There's the bracket. And then this one right here, I'm assuming is for the transducer, transom transducer installation guide. Yes, so this is your transducer installation guide. As well as the Helix series operating summary guide. Now you can go online, they have a full a detailed manual for your hummingbird, hummingbird products. But what's really cool about this, even though this is a summary, this is the quality that Hummingbird puts together. Full color. Like seriously, you don't see that today. You rarely see that. You know, just that usually you see it all in black and white, but the fact that they went that one step further to get to print this out for color, to print this out in color, you know, so that way it, it helps explain everything. Oh man, this is, this is just the customer service that you get from Hummingbird. Look at that. All in color. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. And I just, okay, I'm not gonna hurt your ears. <laughs> Now this unit does have side imaging, which I'm really stoked about. Shows you more or less the interpretation of side imaging. So that's pretty much how it looks. Oh man, okay, enough of that. And then 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hummingbird sticker. Now, I don't know if I'm going to put this on the truck or if I put this on the boat. I'm going to figure that out. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's see what's next. So, all right. So, starting off, top wire is, looks like your power, your power cord for the head unit. Uh, what is in here? Oh yeah, this is really cool. So there's a whole bunch of wires that come with this unit. Uh, so you lay all the single plugs in here and it turns it into one massive plug. That's what's really cool. As you can see inside here, we have those two little screws that will hold the head unit to the bracket. Coming over here, we have our hardware mount. This one here gets bolted to the top of the transducer. This one gets bolted to the hull of the boat. You have some cable ties, all nice stainless steel, steel hardware. Oh look, even comes with nylocks. Super nice. Then buried and hidden right here is the bracket. Well, I mean, uh, maybe not aluminum. Anyways, it's a solid piece of metal here. I am not sure if it's aluminum or white metal. But anyways, it's still, it's, it's metal. It's not plastic. And then the bad boy. All right. All right, so this is the transducer. Um, hold on. A little hard to unbox this with one hand. All right, so let's take this out. Look at the size of this transducer, man. Looks nice. The roll of wire. All right, now the exciting part. Dun 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 dun. Boom! Hummingbird. Oh wow. <laughs> that looks so good. All right, let me get this out of the bag. Oh, look at that. And even the bag, it's like thick, nice, high quality plastic. Oh, cute. Okay, hold on. Let me get this out of the bag because I don't want to deal with this with one hand. Hold on. man look at this and this rubber this rubber is like seriously really good rubber okay, so that's the cover you guys ready are you ready oh 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 okay let's get this into frame you know I'll, I'll hold it okay here we go watch 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 oh hi <laughs> This thing is so awesome. All plastic to protect it from being brand new. Oh my goodness, check this out over here. Two card memory slot. Oh. This looks so nice. What, I didn't even notice this, look at this. Inside the, the rubber casing, you have indents for the buttons. The engineering of this is amazing. Wait till we see the software on this thing. It's epic. It's really good. Hummingbird is, in my opinion anyways, is leading the way of fish finders. Mind you, I'm an, a pure amateur at this, but I did a lot of research and a lot of study on this. And I'll tell you right now, man, I, I'm really stoked about this. Wait till you see what this thing offers. All right, so next up is let's go ahead, register this thing and update it. But before we do that, we have to find somehow how to give it power. So let me read the manual, see what it says, and I'll be right back. All right, so to power up the unit, I am actually going to be using my booster pack with this cigarette lighter plug with uh, supposed to be a 10 amp fuse in here, but I replaced it with a 5 amp fuse because this unit requires a 4 amp fuse but I don't have a 4 amp fuse I had a 5 amp so put that there temporarily wired this to that uh, uh, the cigarette lighter plug to the harness so let's put that together all right so as you can see we have power and then we're gonna put this one together all right all right so you can see me hey everyone first time pressing this power button Let's turn it on. Oh, that looks so nice. Oh man. All right, so I'm gonna run this through the, um, just the simulator. Oh, look at that. So we are in simulator mode. 
Okay, so this is loading up. Okay, so what I did was I plugged in the um, Navionics chip into my computer. From there, I registered online. Uh, you have to register it in order to activate it. Uh, there's the 3D sonar down imaging. There's the side imaging, or the 360 degree imaging. Oh, this looks so cool. There's the 2D sonar. There is the down imaging, full screen. The side imaging, full screen. Then the 360. Then you have sonar and then the down imaging. Sonar, side imaging. Oh, this looks fantastic. Yeah, then this one over here, you have your down imaging and side imaging. And what's really cool is that these lines are actually in, well, it says in meters, but uh, yeah, so you can change it to feet, but this is your depth uh, mark. Now the unit that I did purchase is an international unit. Uh, there are two units. It's another reason why I went with Radio World. So here in Canada, you would want to purchase the, the proper unit, especially for warranty wise. So this one here is warrantied for Canada. And uh, yeah, so if I, if I was to purchase this unit from Bass Pro and there was something that happened and like, like I needed to send it out for warranty uh, purposes, I'm literally gonna have to send it all the way down to the US and I might have to pay for shipping, uh, which is not really cool. Because this unit was purchased at an authorized dealer, uh, which is Radio World in Canada, then it goes through the Canadian uh, version. One of the reasons why I chose to go with Radio World, uh, also because of really good customer service. All right, this is this one I really like. So you have uh, your 2D, your down imaging and your side imaging. Then there's your maps. Uh, I'm not in Newport. Remember, this isn't uh, simulation mode, as it says right there. Then this is your like your GPS style, really cool. They call it bird eye view. Very nice. Okay, so next thing to do is that we're gonna have to update it. So to update it. First, we're gonna have to power it down. Press and hold that power button for two seconds. Done. All right, so there are two ways of downloading. Uh, one way is using uh, micro SDs. The other way is actually using the Hummingbird app, which is called Fish Smart. Go over to system, connect your phone with uh, to, the, to the unit through Bluetooth. Uh, go up here. Once it gets connected, it, you know, it'll tell you, you know, you have the Helix 9 Mega side imaging plus GPS. And then what's really important, it says installed software. That's what's in there now. This is the software that that's installed right out of the box is 1.850. Available update to date is 1.94. So you click on that and then it'll say transfer. You can go ahead, transfer, then follow the screens on here. Uh, otherwise, what you can do is let's go over to the computer and I'll sh and show you what I did. All right, so I am going to open up my browser. Um, I typed in hummingbird.com and over here, we're gonna go over to support software updates. Uh, so we're gonna scroll down. I have to find the model that I have, which is the Helix 9 series. Uh, I have the mega site imaging GPS 3 uh, G3N. The latest up to date firmware is uh, 1.940. Uh, just read right through. Right away, there's uh, updated noise filter menus. Uh, sonar fixes, fixes, 3D imaging, iPolit charts system, software request. You will need a working MMC SD reader or writer device. 
micro SD card that I'm using is actually for my Sony Mini Action Cam. Uh, what I am going to do is I'm going to buy a designated memory card. The Helix 9 does take two uh, memory cards. One slot is already taken for maps. The second one, which I'm going to buy another 32 gig micro SD card, I am going to use that just for memory. So if you guys are going to be doing an up, uh, update, definitely read this how to update with the SD card. All right, so that's it for the unboxing. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is an absolutely awesome product. The next step to do is actually to install it. So the next video should be um, transom mounting the transducer. As you can see, the system's running really well, even though it's under simulator. I just can't wait to install that into the boat, get it on the water, and just see how it goes. All right, till the next time, I'll see you out there.